I don't have enough I, room. <laughs> I want to see you glue yourself to your desk. <laughs> <laughs> he has become one with the control. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. Vin Stone here at LGC Axel, switching the bits, doing the Nightmare Fuel under Linux each and every week, joined by our, um, you're getting fancy, man. I, I mean, uh, with your fancy headphones, but more than that in 11, that is Jordan's Fong. And up past so his fans. bedtime, you know him in 11 when Pedro Montez. Hello. Together, live with you, Shot Realm Dynamic, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. But um, we do like to play a little bit of catch up, man. See what's going on in each other's mustard. Uh, speaking of headphones, man, yeah, yeah, or the part headphones, part beret, part headphones, part beret. Con- currently getting consumed by my hair at the oh, moment. No. Or- <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, uh, my last last week, these fuckers fell off my head, and then sound started or stopped coming out of one of the cups. Ooh. So I said. Well, I paid twenty dollars for these five years ago. I think they're they're done. So I I, I asked like, what's a decent pair of headphones? Uh, ben recommends the MDR seven five zero six. I picked them up. I like them. They're nice. They're good headphones. They Make work nice on my head. Yeah, nice. You plug them in, <laughs> shit comes out of them. I'm like, hey, all right. Yeah. <laughs> also, I don't recommend people buying them. And you know what you're getting in, getting into with those. So um, outside yeah. of that, Pedro, you have. Things that blink, things that go blink. I I do. Uh, the, I put a bunch of stuff back over oh, it. Oh no! Oh no! But uh, no, you I... probably saw the picture of. <laughs> no, I'm terrified. That I put I just... in Discord earlier. <laughs> I just had the most terrifying thought. What if you could make it make noise while it blinked? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of but, noise? Yeah. Like a, no, no, no. Okay. Thanks okay. for the uh, little bit of time to uh, make things uh, <laughs> or move things out of it. The yeah, it's an RGB mouse pad. It was Nori's Christmas gift to me. Uh, I got her a desk and a chair, and uh, it's like, okay, so what do you want? Uh, that one. That looks nice. So <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm just sitting back having a sad because I think I just breathed into being mechanical RGB. <laughs> I'm like, sorry. Like, an, like analog RGB? I, I don't know. I'm scared, man. I'm not going to think about it anymore. <laughs> so, what's new with me, man? I've been playing around with um, OBS. I've like forked it and added some patches because that latest release needed some patches. I was just kind of laying around in the um, pull request. And the main depot in that last release has got some issues, but more on that at 11. Maybe I'll end up making my own version but outside of that nothing terribly exciting man um, same old same old which is it's, I, go ahead i got i got one exciting thing i'm i'm very proud of myself it took me six months but i taught a dog to poop on command have you weaponized it not yet but now <laughs> but now that i know the training has sunk in now we can start having some fun do you think you like a mechanical <laughs> load switch on that <laughs> no yeah yeah i can i can i can just set up the Something to like feed dog food into her and then just like hold her around like a machine gun and just fire poop at people. <laughs> <laughs> fine. Teach it to the horse. Uh, fine. It's going to take another six months. All right, horse. You're a good girl. It's the Steam Linux update. Now, now poop, again? poop horse. Poop. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> There's no uh, poop horse here, but there is, well, the Steam News Hub. Uh, it's now available, and if you'd like to Look, get your steamy news, it's no longer an experiment. It is now an actual thing. If you Are go you saying to they the don't old... have to come to this podcast to hear their Steam News anymore? Yes. Uh, well, you still should come to this podcast if you'd like to hear difficulty? the Linux Steam News. <laughs> I'm going to say difficulty. You have to be able to read. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's, hard, it's a harder challenge than one would expect. Right. But yeah, it basically replaces the old uh, news page that no one liked, and I think Valve was painfully aware of that because they weren't the only ones using it. So now they've decided, you know what, let's just make this actually interesting, and besides just being from the games themselves and from Valve, uh, you can actually have uh, like other gaming websites show up in the Steam News Hub. (laughs) which is kind of the whole thing and having that one place valve wants to keep people in the platform as much as possible mm-hmm. because the longer they're there the more likely they are to buy a game 
<laughs> uh, so yeah, it, you could just get all of your gaming news in the one place. My question is, I have an Android phone. Can I add Steam as a source to my Google News? Because I like that. That just, just takes RSS, right? Yeah, right. I mean, seriously, <laughs> what has it been, four, five years since we've got an update on the um, Android app? The only thing I, I can say about the Android app on Steam is like, oh, that still launches. And that, that's about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what, one thing they do mention in this little announcement, uh, there's like, oh, well, most of our games aren't translated, but the news will be. So what? Did they just run this through Google Translate? Um, Maybe. also apparently curators are now a source for this as well. So oh, no. more, more legitimacy for us. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little terrifying, but I, but we talked about it last week and you like a little preview of it and you can, you know, you can set it to filter. That's what I did. I looked at it. It's got an easy little pop out drop, you know, drop down, but a little slide out thing. And you're like, I want game news. I don't want DLC or anything like that. And games that you own and like, make sure it's on Linux. Um, I'm happy with it. I mean, it's cleaner than nope. it was, but then again, it's not said much, but. <laughs> yeah, no, it, everyone was painfully aware that the uh, Steam news bit was uh, lacking, to yeah. say the least. Well, good on you, Val. You did it good. And, uh, well, they get us all of those games to pay for all this bandwidth, man. Yep, because apparently on uh, December 12th, uh, Steam peaked at 24,776,000. Whoops. <laughs> it's all downhill from here, baby. It's all down here from here. And uh, 635 users, which is the uh, current record for most users concurrently online at any point ever, as far as Steam is concerned. And if you are to look at the competition, yeah, they're still winning. <laughs> and yeah, basically 25 million people were online at once. That's not just active accounts. That's how many people were online at once. So yeah, that's uh, that's impressive. And people keep saying, oh yeah, not 0.9% of users on Steam are on Linux. Yeah, not 0.9% of 25 million is nothing to scoff at. Just, yeah. <laughs> I know it's 250,000, but anyways, um, a bit more, <laughs> a, little, a, a, little, a little bit more, um, but so but it, it makes sense though. I mean, we're all, we're all trapped inside. It's, it's COVID times, baby. Yeah. Well, I looked at those numbers and immediately thought, oh, look, holiday pandemic edition. Yes, probably. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, now I now you don't have to spend time with your family. You can play video games. So, of course, people are going to be online. Hide from your family inside your own home. Yes. Mm. Inside World of Warcraft. Do it. <laughs> Until they start joining World of Warcraft, and then you have to avoid them there. You got some good news, man. I saw you posted in Discord. You're like, finally, this game that came. What did it come with? I came with my, it came with my motherboard. Oh, okay. Uh, what game it was, was this? Either, this was Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I've been trying on and off to get it working for a while. Uh, apparently, because of a blog post, apparently we were waiting on the new VKD3D Proton, and it's out. Version 2.1 is available for your consumption. Assassin's Creed Valhalla works if you're on NVIDIA. I tried. I compiled Mesa. I did that, and I could not get it running on my 5700 XT. But lo and behold, with a recent version of Proton GE, it does launch through Lutris, because I have the Uplay version with... Um, mm -hmm with uh, NVIDIA, and it's choppy as fuck. <laughs> Dear Lord, it, it, it's bad. Um, yeah, uh, unless you got one of those fancy 3080s, maybe maybe don't run it at UHD, maybe stick with 1080p. Uh, so one thing though, apparently for Valhalla, uh, there's a missing feature in Mesa for DX12 sparse texture support. Once that lands, if ever, then this game will start working. So it's a driver limitation at the moment. Um, right. But yeah, it's, it's also working with uh, the cyberpunks now. If you don't want to do the, the X11 renderer, I believe, it will now work. Performance is roughly in line. I do got to point out that, you know, you're playing on a card that's like two generations old oh oh yeah my, my old crusty 1080 ti yeah. can't can't handle shit no <laughs> and, more. and you, your retro gaming card <laughs> yes um. <laughs> no the one thing that actually got me with the uh, this release of a uh, vkd 3d proton was they're actively having they're at that point now that they actively have to consider that 
Maybe the developers didn't exactly follow the uh, DX12 specifications, so maybe the game is pulling some hacks and it's just rendering incorrectly in Windows, but it's fine. People sometimes don't even notice it. Well, welcome to the Wine Project, where they have to yeah. introduce a broken version yeah. <laughs> so that the games will work. That Yeah, exactly. I mean, you do end up in situations where, yeah, game games are just programs, man, rely on known bugs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and what it was doing in the past was okay there's a rendering error there let's just stop and it froze the game and it completely killed the uh, rendering pipeline they're going oh this is uh this is a problem this is deliberate they're actively doing that uh all right okay so we're just gonna show the incorrect stuff then they're done (laughs) deal with it yeah if if, if this is the binary name yeah just don't don't fail yeah shrug (laughs) We get a couple of um, updates this week, starting with something that I think we equally enjoy, just because the three of us love a game that kicks you in like the ankles, knees, and junk. We're all suckers yeah. for good for a good puzzle game, a good like God, my brain hurts puzzle game. No, I'm talking uh, like, like I get fuck it, this but puzzle game, game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, Baba is you. Uh, they are uh, working on a public level editor. They had a beta that they pushed out to some select users for testing. They're hoping to get it out sooner. Previously, uh, there was an open source version of Baba is you, uh, Open Baba, that you would need to use if you wanted to make your own levels. But now you have a tool, um, and you can share them with Mario Maker style codes. One interesting challenge they're doing here, and it's a commendable one. They're trying to get crossplay for the level editor so that they can switch. So they can ship a version on the Switch, and you can make game is on the switch version and play it with the uh steam version and vice versa and i know nintendo is not the most friendly when it comes with pro comes to cross play so i wish them the best luck because oh, yeah. it's, it's an ad it's an admiral goal we should have cross play parity across all platforms that's the dream and mm-hmm. i definitely do man. my first thought when i saw this was i remember we talked about the um level editor i'm like okay that's going to be a thing but i still have to go back to that original thought is imagining I don't even want to touch it because I can't possibly imagine what type of fresh hell the types of people <laughs> that not only play Baba as you, but the types of people who play the game and have the desire to make levels have come up with that. You think uh, Mario Maker? And it's like, no, 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 child. That that that's adorable. That's the vanilla shit, man. Mm. This is real kinky. <laughs> this is how the singularity happens. Someone is going to figure out how to. I don't know, escape the memes, uh, the game's own uh, memory constraints and actively start messing with your actual operating system underneath. This, <laughs> this is the kind of stuff uh, that I really hope uh, will result in an AI because Baba is CPU zero. Basically, because it will Baba either be the perfect three. Skynet or it will just look at what it, it, it gains self-awareness. It goes, oh, boy and just nopes itself into the void no, that, that's gonna be great you're pulling the puzzles like baba is ime like, what? Yeah. <laughs> baba is therefore they think or what? PSD. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. that's not the only thing i got a level editor this week though yeah super liminal we threw some chairs at it a couple weeks ago and uh they are having some improvements to the level editor and also some fucking linux fixes that's yeah. nice them. yeah both then and i ran into the cursor issue and apparently they have nixed that um and yeah more general updates for the level editor there's a hud uh one nice thing they did is this is a non-destructive update to the level editor so all your existing stuff won't break that's a big one. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know a few developers that could stand to learn a couple of things. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's so, always so, yeah, fun it, with like level editors, man. You're like, oh, okay, this is what their thought processes were when they were sticking this together with the tools that they had created, right? Right, right. And it's, it's, it's definitely interesting, especially if they give you the existing levels that you can pull apart and go like, oh, that's, uh, that's what they were doing. Neat. Hmm. I was happy to see that. I mean, the game's fun enough for like, what it is i know you two enjoyed it a bit more than i did it still blows my mind what they managed to make the unity engine do yeah and it was seamless in the way that it did it's just like oh very good (laughs) yeah this this was like very much a tech demo that they turned into an actual game but like yeah i i hope that people make some like more robust levels because the ones the game provided were very lacking in what you could do Mm. well very limiting (laughs) Gentlemen, 
Quake that's Two. Too. Updates, blasts from the past, but this is not regular, ordinary Quake Two. No, it's not. It's Quake Two RTX 1.4 point. The gang is stuff in this man. This allows Quake Two to utilize your tensor cores, so you can do things like man. How did this card manage to play this 20-year-old game at 40 frames per second at 1080p? <laughs> Through the magic of RTX. NVIDIA, call me. I hear you've had uh, great times with people reviewing, um, I mean, not reviewing mm-hmm. ray tracing as of late, but <laughs> this has got a bunch of stuff and improvements, general improvements. And I, of course, I played with it because uh, I technically have a tensor core or like a quarter of one in my 2060. I was like, hmm, I get to take advantage of it. Again, for the second time, this is going to be brilliant. Same old, same old with this. Um, at 1080p with everything just on default, um, let's get about 40 and about 80 at 720p. But I, I don't know what to report with this. I mean, it's fucking quick, too. It was some lights and shit. Go, go, go ahead. Uh, okay. it's, 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 it's your stick. I was just going to lead into it. <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, this uh, update comes in the wake of AMD finally releasing um, graphics cards that can actually push some rays, because let's be honest, the 5700 um, XT, as good as it was, and it was very good, it did not have the ray tracing chops, but yeah, this one, um, this version actually allows ray tracing from other companies gpus which yeah it's really hard to compete uh with visual studio when it does the dx12 code for you and that's how you end up with the vkd 3d thing that we talked about earlier uh then having to pay nvidia or literally anyone else to write ray tracing code for you i do want to point out by default this (laughs) uses the new vulcan the KHR extensions. Yeah, uh, right. Mm-hmm. That is part of the Vulcan spec now. And like NVIDIA has updated their driver. Like, hey, it can use that. And so it's general for everything. That just ate shit when I used it. And <laughs> I was missing the texture. <laughs> well, I mean, it's like, it's like how NVIDIA technically supports OpenCL. Well, you know, I, mm-hmm. the driver is how like, we- technically vendor neutral dispatch yes <laughs> I, tr- I tried it and you know that was fixed so heads up if you have an nvidia card there's an option drop down and like okay let's just put that on nvidia proprietary olo um jensen gonna <laughs> kick you in the ankles out yeah know. no you don't get invaded by the leather jacket <laughs> i don't know that's that, not, that's, no. that's my new romance novel pedro invaded by the leather jacket <laughs> that, tangle would like a word uh, that's available my, on kindle <laughs> my working tomorrow. theory is that the um it was the leather jacket that sent that email to hardware to unbox that's why i don't want to like cough up to it like oh we can't let the world know <laughs> it's it's that robot chicken sketch where like shatner's toupee leaves his head at night and like the right. secret agent shit yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> um oh it's out Wh- Wasted. Yeah, Wasteland 3. As promised, they said that it was going to be coming out for Linux eventually. And lo and behold, almost half a year later, it did. Um, Still a bit of a spicy meatball. That's uh, 80 bucks Canadian for me, 60 US. Uh, you got to fix a lot of toasters to make that worthwhile. One thing that is kind of interesting, though, it has co-op. A lot of old Infinity Engine games had co-op, but that feature kind of got dropped in like uh, Pillars of Eternity and whatnot. Divinity was kind of the one franchise that kept that up. But there is uh, there is co-op for this. At the moment, it's only Linux to Linux. Well, I mean, I guess Proton Linux to the, Windows. Well, I, 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 I'm trying to read the... Please note co-op functionality is limited for Mac and Linux versions. It just says limited. Does it say that? It, it, yeah. If, if you go, if you go to the knowledge base article, it says uh, Linux to Linux, Mac to Mac. Oh yeah. Okay. It's only within the, uh, but, but I mean, Pro- platform. Proton. <laughs> Proton lets you play Pro- Linux to windows. Mm-hmm. You just gotta, it's a bit, it's a little roundabout, uh, but Hey, <laughs> they don't, they didn't and leave much of an so option. Even they? if you're cheating, you're just really harming yourself and you're, friendship with whomever it is that you're playing so it's fine <laughs> Pe- pedro do you do you, do you want do you want to team up at some point and do the co-op campaign for this oh yeah <laughs> all, all right all right we're, 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 we're gonna have to make that happen okay oh, oh yeah uh, <laughs> oh yeah yeah I'll... Sla- slap fight the 90 minute stream <laughs> <laughs> i know i know, i'm looking forward to that <laughs> okay no that's my Ma- toaster I fix it. I, I don't know, Pedro. You seem a little tense. Looks like you could use a massage, dude. Okay. 
during the week, I, you know, at least two or three times, I'll, I'm like, new releases for Linux on Steam. And I get on the list and like, uh, 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 cause you know, there's all just like windows. That's how, you know, Linux gaming has arrived. We get some low quality bullshit. Like, uh, there was a lot too. Then I saw something that got my curiosity and was like, um, really, <laughs> really? I'm talking about really? I vibrate ultimate edition <laughs> because my first thought was like, wait, there, there's like a standard version of this. I mean, what is it? Well, it turns your gamepad into your own personal vibrator up to 10 simultaneous game. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Available for download. Uh, demo i don't know how that rolls 5.99 but it's like wait a minute does this really yeah yep it uh supports linux now you're thinking to yourself man you're thinking about it all wrong because you're dirty minded uh, you are shut sure. up <laughs> um, what, what, what's, what's your problem you don't like my dirty mind <laughs> This is a family show. That's not what show. you said last night. You fuck with. Because um, I know what I, I understand. This is to make your controllers vibrate. And I know what it's really for, gentlemen. Controller racing, okay. motherfuckers. Yeah. We, yeah, okay. We can put them on a slope, yeah. light them up, and we can race through some other. I mean, I've always wanted to see what was faster an OG Steam <laughs> controller or a Gen 2 PS4? Mm. We can finally well, answer those questions, or we could if it had been pulled from the Steam store. <laughs> <laughs> well, it well, hasn't been pulled. It's just that you need to log in because it's you got to be mature. an adult, right? You, Ma- yeah. <laughs> so, listen, all, all I'm saying is there are some pretty expensive dildos out there, and they're all controllers are expensive these days. Sometimes you can't. You have to choose we, between we one or the take other. A look at the video. We we gotta see. What get 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 you a man who does both, <laughs> girlfriends. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Wiggle, yep. wiggle. That, uh, wiggle, wiggle. That, I saw <laughs> the names the... like I vibrate. It's like, oh, someone finally made a vibration app for uh, controllers. Like, yep, there it is. Exactly as I thought. Bring Never failed to disappoint me, um, Internet. Never will. <laughs> I genuinely might do a video with controllers <laughs> racing. <laughs> <laughs> do, do that's that's next friday's stream it's just the controller racing i'm not gonna lie you to know you. what the sad thing is uh if you have a wireless controller uh, uh like in mac os mm-hmm. this doesn't work you have to plug it in <laughs> okay well i mean you're gaming on a mac that's your first problem yeah and uh, some motherfuckers try to escape a pill i don't see you po- i mean it feels thank, like thank, a weird thank limitation you wesley snipes. Like, really yeah. <laughs> thank you thank you wesley snipes uh <laughs> All right, all right. Come, coming up next, NVIDIA has some new drivers, Humble has some new bundles, and apparently Atari has a new browser. You know that uh, the news is coming up, and yes, this is a true LGC show because we start the news off with some drivers, but before we get to that, we do need to uh, take a bit of a break. And we need to remember do that to reset thing. your color filter. Oh yeah, no, I am still <laughs> trying to compensate for the dark blue shirt. Yes. <laughs> Is that why he's all sepia toned now? He did. Yes. But Pedro's got mood lighting through OBS, man. Um, <laughs> I, th- I, th- I thought we were just in a noir detective movie. He looks know. normal on my monitor monitor because it's got mm. a, like a yellow tint to it. But like over here, you, you look like you need to go outdoors for a second. A little pale. Little, little, to little be pasty. fair, I've been going outdoors at least once a week, sometimes twice a week, no, because no, no. work. <laughs> oh, I was about to say going to the bathroom doesn't count. <laughs> Brexit <laughs> hasn't happened yet. We don't leave in mud huts yet. <laughs> All right. So if you if you want to buy Pedro some toilet paper, a mud hut. <laughs> maybe, maybe maybe some materials to build this mud hut. Yeah, you can head on over to uh, patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. It's where we uh, support the show. Oh, we're, 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 we're doing we're doing. I don't uh, know. I'm just bringing up shit while you're talking, man. I'm listening. Right. I can't see. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. That's where you can support us. Uh, it's the easiest way to support us. You get some cool stuff with it, like access to our Discord channel, show notes, the pre pre super shows. And that's an entire hour of bullshit that you just get from us. It's you get access to things like uh, the super secret internal documentation Alpha Omega PMD 6L13 video that I uh, posted in Discord earlier for patrons. If you're curious about we were doing a thing, man. I like doing stuff like this, you know, just inner office type stuff. 
of working on our streaming and setups. And there's a bunch of behind the scenes stuff I post because, you know, hey, man, you're helping us out. So you know, lift up, lift up the skirt a little bit and see my Indeed. ankles. Take it, take it. Naughty. <laughs> uh, we got we got donato buttons. If you want to give us some money via PayPal or Bitcoin, Litecoin, Coin Yay, whatever you want. Uh, and what else? We got? we got a store. We got a store. You can buy some giftmas presents, some Festivus presents for your loved ones, like a T-shirt or a mask or a sticker or a hoodie <laughs> or a coffee cup. I mean, if you really want to have that conversation, yes. <laughs> what? I, I, <laughs> I mean, it, it's the holidays. You can't have awkward, violent conversations with your family. You might as well do it with strangers out in public. <laughs> okay, now, no. now, now I want to see your, your like t-shirt collection. Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> you thank, would wouldn't you thank you beautiful people um for helping us do this all this time and um uh, keep on rocking on rocking on uh stick around for your name in the credits and uh yeah let's get right into it oh do you want to record like a mando recap well yeah sure why not yeah we, 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 we'll probably sit down next week and uh do that we'll put that up for uh patrons if you're curious about like hey we're gonna be doing this we, we also need to finish that is our New Year's resolution is going to be we're going to fucking finish crime. We're going to fit. That's, uh, ooh, that's, that's a bit of a time frame. That's going to get a bit close. <laughs> no, re- New Year's resolution. Oh, oh New okay. Year's. Oh, right. That's how that okay. works, right? <laughs> I, New I Year's fucking... gold was what my head was screaming. It's like, oh, that's yeah. like a couple that, that, of days from now. What? <laughs> right, I, I, I totally understand that stood that too as like, yeah, let's finish it before December. No. I'm like, ooh. Yeah. I mean, if, if, if we want to like do a 24 hour stream and just like watch us punish ourselves, maybe. Like straight up, just never stop. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm down to clown with that, though. Yes. Traditional LGC fashion. Starting the news off with some Linux drivers, and these are the latest display drivers for your NVIDIA. Hey, talk about ray tracing, or we're going to quit sending you shit. Uh, video card, uh, video cards. My favorite thing in here is support for the A6000. Go fuck yourself. This is a $4,000 <laughs> video card with like 24 gigajoules of memory RAM and all that. Anyway, I installed it. This is uh, ad support for what we were talking about Quake 2. All the VK KHR um, extensions are in here, and they work like dog shit with Quake too. Good job, Nvidia. Um, they implement the. Oh, yeah, you're asking there. for too much. <laughs> Technically, <laughs> there. Technically there. A yes. bunch of little fixes and stuff like that, but I installed them. I'm running them right now. I mean, they work. It's really all I expect from it. Yeah. I mean. This has some exciting stuff if you're using a mobile NVIDIA GPU. They got this reverse prime thing, which as far as I can tell, it lets you directly bypass the iGPU because normally it has to copy from iGPU memory or uh, dedicated GPU memory to iGPU memory to output. But if the GPU has a direct output, you can bypass all of that uh, and just stream directly out of the uh, HDMI port that's in your laptop's video card, which I guess is kind of useful. They also have some mobile device suspend stuff in there. What do they call it? The, um, well, it's, it's near the bottom. It's, or maybe not. I don't fucking. Uh, <laughs> I should I should I should have I should have written it down. But it's 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 one it's one of these new mobile spend options. I looked into it. Um, I don't know. I think I if I'm putting my tinfoil hat on around my very bushy hair, mm-hmm. it's a very it's a lot of tinfoil. Um, I think I think maybe this is like Nvidia adding some initial start software support because they're planning on putting out some beefier SOCs to compete with the M1. You want to have that sort of like instant suspend resume shit. Would you buy an Nvidia in laptop? Yeah, yeah. If if it ran, if it ran Linux, absolutely. Okay. Another thing I want to mention. What are your thoughts on this? Because I see that they've made uh, some changes uh, for the default location with the OpenGL Vulkan shader disk caches, and it's like they're playing. Around. Do you think this has anything to do with uh, Steam? Going like, hey, there's some problems we're having. There were, yeah, there was that uh, thing we talked about last week when. Steam just said, no, we disabled uh, Vulkan caching on NVIDIA altogether until the driver situation is sorted. So here we are. This seems yep. to be the first attempt to do just that. Or, and, or at uh, least speaking, lay some groundwork. Yeah, like, you know, and speaking of uh, NVIDIA laptops, I was playing around with the precision 
and I installed um, the 5.10 kernel on it to see because that's also running a Ubuntu based distro so that's what I'm using right now and it has the Nvidia GPU that's what I'm using as the staging for this box before I do anything here and uh, yeah the, the these are the ones you want if you're playing with the 5.10 kernel because uh, 455 just doesn't build at all Ooh. so hmm. them ah, <laughs> nvidia drivers and new kernels it's a tale as old as time oh yep. black magic <laughs> like a word with this advanced <laughs> nvidia technology Sacre bleu. Oh. Oh, yeah. knack. it's a uh, humble um french not well technically not french but hey Fr- Fr- french canada it's the it's the quebec <laughs> indie bundle yeah, if you if you if you want to send some loonies to some Quebecois developers, this is the thing to do it. So, um, Night Squad, uh, Night Squad, Castle Story, and there was one other one. I was trying to figure uh, out Yon- what does the uh, exclamation point mean on? Uh, it's the not non DRM oh, framework. Okay, okay. So it's Steam only. Uh, but yeah, so uh, Ale, uh, Ale's Tournament, Jotun, Valhalla Edition, and Night Squad, and Castle Story are your Linux native games to justify grabbing some of the other games, which I guess is, for me, Tales of Candlekeep, I suppose, maybe, sort of? Because <laughs> I don't, I don't want to yeah. pay full price for it, but I'm interested in seeing what it's about. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Uh, Jotun Valhalla Edition is a pretty good, like, side-scrolling beat-em-up. It's... Decent. We threw chairs at it a while ago. Yeah. I don't know about mm-hmm. the other ones here, though. Any, anything interesting you? I didn't see anything. I mean, outside of you, I was like, I remember that. Okay, that was a thing. Um, uh, what was the one up at top? Uh, uh, oh, uh, Leap of Fate? No, Areola Tournament. No, Areola Tournament. Uh, Areola's. Didn't we? I think we played that. I don't think we played, but this was like the party game. This is like the Mario Party one. This yeah, is the party game we that you can talked just play about with it a, before. Right, yeah. you can play it with a, an Atari controller because this has got a yeah. button. Mm-hmm. Um, right, right. Yeah, uh, fair warning on that, man. Nobody's playing that. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> I mean, you, you 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 can you can get a bunch of copies for like a buck and then give them to your friends. There you, there go. you go. Do what we do. Create your own community. <laughs> exactly. exactly. The, I, I personally, I call it the Mr. Fox Dog approach because he's the one who started. Like, I need someone to play this game with. Right. You have this game now. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Speaking of that, well, uh, that game is Armello, and that is included in the other bundle that also yeah. went live. Yeah, not too long ago, which is the Winter Indie Mix bundle. And yeah, it the Linux games, uh, unless you really want to pay the uh, full thing to, that includes Armello, all the other ones are in the. Uh, first tier oh. and you get the complete derponia series i was i was uh, violently disappointed that felix the reaper i was like oh shit what oh, <laughs> no no it doesn't have a linux version but yeah no uh seriously like the first uh deponia game is actually a significant amount of time i remember watching the atomic ass streaming it on twitch and that went on for a while so yeah that that that's a lot of game for just the one dollar and yeah. then you get the I'll, rest of them too <laughs> although if, if you're gonna if you're gonna be paying like 12 bucks for a copy of armello that's not honest, honestly that's not a bad reason it's a fun game you can i can always use more copies cheap copies of armello because there's always someone like you should play this game with us because it's fun mm. so yeah i looked at that and that barrier to entry like even if somebody <laughs> gave me a copy of that and i'm like i lost it <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the game's pretty simple. You, it, the, the the tutorial is a lot more complicated than most games actually are. Every so. time you you lot stream it, I will watch and like, I, I mean, I'm like right on the edge. Like I might fuck with it, but I don't and then know. and then the giant spider shows up. And... Yeah, <laughs> I, honestly, I've probably watched like two hours total of you streaming it with the um, LGC crew, and I just don't really fucking know what's going on. So there's that. <laughs> Murder furries. That's all you're Murder about. furries. Hey, if you want to stream murder furries at home, you might consider doing it with this hot new version of Open Broadcaster 26.1. As usual, if you'd like to support their project, go check them out. Patron and Open Collective. A couple of new features in this. The big ones, if you're on Linux, man, virtual camera support. That's thing, unless it's not, but it's there. You're going to need to install that thing. You know what it is. That loopback module. Do it. Uh, Twitch VOD support. That's good. So you can have your vocals on one track and your audio on the other because 
Twitch going to Twitch, and you can at least nuke your audio track for your live stream, which is good. And um, Jack, Jack still broke that uh, fix. Didn't get in there in time, so just don't use Jack just yet. And uh, they have uh, completely broken black magic capture cards for capturing from other PCs, and that is cross-platform. Lovely. <laughs> and um, at least on my end, Winter Capture is kind of janky and busted as well. One nice thing they added is you can accidentally, if you double click on the little icon in your taskbar, you can launch a couple copies of OBS. So now it will enforce having one copy running at a time. I've run into that a few times where I'm like, why isn't this? Oh, because there's another copy of it. You can see the workaround to that is just to install OBS WebSockets because it'll tell you to go die in a fire if you try to open up a second uh, copy. It's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Um, overall, I would suggest just waiting for the next 16, 26.2 is probably what you should wait for. I'm just saying. Yeah. All right. I said my piece because I got to talk about everyone's favorite console. <laughs> Google Chrome. I said console. <laughs> Google Chrome. Could Shut be. Shut up. Stadia. It might as well be at this point. Stadia. <laughs> Atari VCS. Ah. Yeah. You can play Stadia on this maybe because it's going to feature the Google Chrome as a built-in browser, which I'm assuming it already didn't, apparently, because these things have shipped, at least. Uh, they've We've seen... Okay. The early backers got them. That's about it. To my knowledge, I didn't get a chance to go back and test <laughs> this. We've seen one person on Twitter with a box that they waited a day to open. Plus, they've shown pictures of uh, pallets of these. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> this is, has, has anyone, like plugged one in and turned it on and like hooked it up to a screen and pointed a camera at it or some shit. Fair question. Then that's going to where I'm at with this, but maybe, maybe when they do, they're going to have the option to use Chrome. So you can be looking at one of these. You can, you can still pre-order one of these as an all in bundle with a retro joystick and wood grain bullshit uh, for $390 from Atari. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. The, <laughs> that's way too expensive. <laughs> I mean, this. I, my issue is this isn't even news. It's like Google Chrome is like one of the most widely used browsers on the planet. Breaking news: Google yeah. Chrome installed on machine. That's technically already <laughs> running Linux. So what is this? A thin client, and it comes with some Atari games built in. Is that it? I think it's a slow news day at hackaday.com. There wasn't a hack for that day, so I can talk about this. The reason you want to bring this up is having Chrome is definitely going to give you that desktop support for browser games. And Stadia. And everyone, Stadia. Everyone, yeah. Everyone's on that Stadia train, fam. Both of them. Oh. Yeah, you can play uh, Stadia with your two-button Atari you, you, Hey, stick. you can yeah. play Destiny with Linux in your room. Mm-hmm. <laughs> i don't know man it's a thing it's got some grunt i want to play with one but for like here's the thing like the oh yeah i'll probably wait until it's the bin of the consignment shop look at it and like 99 cents i'm like eh, no it can get lower <laughs> right it still goes for like 50 pounds on ebay i i i legitimately <laughs> did that with a steam link like new in box at the thrift store and it was 99 cents. And I like it did. I picked it up. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't be asked. But uh, yeah, let's talk about the Hackaday stuff. Because I don't know what the hell this thing is. All right. That was Engadget. I mixed up the notes. Sorry, yeah, Hackaday. My bad. <laughs> Engadget can you know, go eat a bag of dicks. Hackaday can talk about controllers. You know, there, there's, this is kind of in like the longstanding feud of, oh, controllers are better. Mouse keyboard is better. Well, when and, I see this, I was like, did somebody like get Ben Heck drunk, blindfold him and said, go for it? I mean, may maybe, <laughs> but he so here, here's the thing. People have been trying for thousands of years to figure out a decent way of playing first person shooters with a controller that does not completely suck. And apparently these guys have a solution. Um, it's this little man that looks like a cake that came out very, very that badly. Looks like a lot of glue. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But so it does, it's, effect it's effectively a controller with little like touchpad on it with uh it's this is a stylus essentially a stylus that you can use with your thumb or maybe with your finger if you want to use it like a pencil to control the camera and apparently yep. it's decently accurate which again the steam controller tried to do something like that i found that it was a, it didn't quite work too well but maybe that was like a learning the curve one thing the steam controller could have done and made it work was on to have a sensitivity hardware sensitivities slider 
on the controller for that right pad. Maybe, yeah. Uh, that could, that could so you don't have to go into the options of every single game and change it. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Uh, but th- this, this was another take on it. This was a very, very homebrew attempt. It looks like that that thing, it's clearly 3D printed. Like, well, I, I like yes. the fact that it has like PU leather over it. Like, oh. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's so that the little cheapo sensor that the dude used from cheapo mouse that he took apart. Uh, and yeah, it, it is effectively a big square areola with a tassel ring for your thumb. That that that's what that is. <laughs> yeah, and and, and a I like the to left-handed. Sure the I like the left-handed wielding that's happening there. It's like, yes, if you make a left-handed version of that, I'll buy one. Mm. Well, that's the thing. You have to make a left-handed version of it because you need to go acquire a three D printer and some leather. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Don't don't make Pedro. Actually, it'd be hilarious. Go ahead and do it. Too much leather for Pedro. <laughs> yeah. Coming I, I, up. No, spoiler, I, I don't mind the leather bit. It's the three D printer. I, I, I don't have like, enough I, room. <laughs> I want to see you glue yourself to your desk. <laughs> <laughs> he has become one with the controller. He glued himself onto it. Can, can, wait, I, I, I can just imagine because we're going to start seeing the pictures from Discord while Nori's like trying to control herself and catch her breath is taking pictures. Of Pedro <laughs> while he's glued to the desk, being oh. just looking at her terribly cross. <laughs> like, this is no, not funny anymore. <laughs> T- t- tell her if she's gonna film it, live stream it to Twitch, so mm-hmm. that we can we just just don't blast any copyrighted music. Otherwise, we're gonna have to delete all our mods. We have Twitch enabled tablets. That's fine. We can make that happen. <laughs> very, very good. All right. Well, coming up next, I for a second thought this game's name was Downfall, mm-hmm. and I was very disappointed by the lack of Hitler. But I got the name of the game wrong. We're throwing chairs at downward. Nine, nine, nine. It's not downfall. It's downward. It's from Caracal Games on the Unreal Engine 4. What is it? It's the Sharequisitions where we talk about games and throw chairs at them. Uh, you can pick this up for about, uh, pick this game up for about $9.99 US. What is it? Downward is a first person open world parkour based platform adventure set in the medieval ruins of a post apocalyptic planet Earth. <gasps> Make your way through breathtaking landscapes, faiths, <laughs> ancient guardians, and unravel the deep mystery that lies behind the disappearance of humanity. Uh, so Ben bought us some keys for this because it was relatively cheap. And so we decided to take a look at it. It's, I it's remember, a, like way back in the day, seeing screenshots for it. And I was like, ah, maybe it, it, it looks nice. It um, does. does. Well, <laughs> let's, let, let, let's get into it, though. Pedro, you once again yes. like the game the best. So you get to talk first. I do. As it turns out, I like video games. Go figure. Uh, <laughs> now, over here on the Ryzen 7 3700X with the uh, GTX 1080, it launched out of the box uh, on KDE Neon, yes. Uh, it launched out of the box. Uh, lowering the resolution while you have the game in full screen doesn't seem to actually lower it. It keeps rendering at whatever full screen resolution your monitor happens to be, which, uh, as if you're looking at the video version, you can see the... Um, actual FERPS counter on the bottom left, and it gets anywhere between like 48 and 62 FPS. That's it. With uh, just about everything cranked uh, at 2560 by 1440, except for radial and motion blur. I disabled those for obvious reasons. Uh, You can rebind all the controls and adjust the mouse sensitivity. That's always a very good way to get some extra points out of me. And your character keeps quipping. Whenever you do something, there's a quip. And um, every now and then, the voice will start playing while you're on a lower platform, and then you move to a higher platform, and the voice is still playing on that lower platform. So, to say that sounds disembodied is uh, an understatement. But yeah, it, it... it, it it sounds weird. No complaints on the graphical side. If you're looking at the video, you know that that looks pretty good. So, uh, mm. as for the fun, I like it. I actually really like it. Uh, the platforming is fairly forgiving. You gotta do it right, or yeah, th- that will happen. Uh, but the um, there's a lot of Metroidvania style instances when you run into something and you realize, oh, I don't have that ability yet. So at a later point in time, I'll come back here and do that. Though, you know, th- there is a uh, sort of a quest marker, and uh, there all of those places that you need specific abilities, they are all clearly marked. But out of the box, you can actually visit 
most, if not all, of the areas. You won't be able to fully explore them, obviously, but I actually like that much freedom. It just lets you loosen the world and say, go, explore, do your thing. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, the, the, that floating, uh, floating quest marker that I mentioned, it is there and it's telling you, okay, that's where, you know, story happens. But much like in Skyrim or Fallout, you can just completely ignore that. It, you, If you want to make progress, by all means, go there. But yeah, it's you don't have to. You can just go and explore and do things at your own pace, which is what I ended up doing. And yeah, the performance is a bit iffy, and it will introduce a bit of input latency when the FURPs drop, but I like it. I can't give it four chairs because this is one of those games where input does matter, so three will have to do. <laughs> I think I'll take this next one here, man. All right. All right. <laughs> Whoa, I, I forgot to cut that off. That's not going to happen. Stay tuned. Um, <laughs> over here on Debian 10, man, that classic OS running a classic Threadripper 1920X, uh, 32 gigs RAM, NVIDIA 2060 No Cape Edition. Man, the first thing I noticed that the screen resolution bug from 2017 is alive and well in this game. So if you want to run it at, like, say, 1080p on a UHD monitor, Step one is run it through Proton, which is what I ended up doing. Now, I did notice that uh, it does, in fact, have controller support, which doesn't function in the menu. Well, you're like, wait a minute. What? Oh, it does move. And I ended up playing this with a controller because it's, it's like a laid back thing, man. I know. But it got the job done. Performance wise, we're going to be talking about uh, through the XVK. At about 60 at 1080 on the 2060. Well, that's where it's hovering, about 62, 65. No complaints with the performance, but let's talk about the fun. Visually, it looks great. That's what got me interested. I'm like, hey, I, uh, this could be fun running and all that. What we have is a first person platformer with an attempt at parkour and all kind of other shit tacked on because reasons, man. There's all type of stuff stapled to this game. I think I got that about right. I'm, I had to summarize it real quick. You get dropped off. You don't really tell, you know, hey, what's going on? Don't know, but I'm a mysterious voice that will have you asking more questions. And I'm just going to fuck off after a few minutes. You're going to run, you're going to jump, and you're going to hold jump to climb. Get used to that. Um, I found that to be rather clumsy. If you're watching the video version earlier, you're watching Pedro live, die, repeat on a wall. Uh, get used to that, too. Now, you can climb things. That, you know, I'm like, hey, it's a cliff. I'm going to jump. I'm going to grab it. Can I climb it? No, I'm falling to my reset point. Because if you're going to make things climbable, you need to take a note from games like Tomb Raider and Mad Max Seed with bright yellow ass fucking lines on the climbable shit. Because this isn't Assassin's Creed. This isn't a goddamn Batman. You just can't climb over everything. So you got to like hunt and pack and you will die a lot going, oh, guess that's not climbable. But outside of that, man, I got about an hour into it. I found it to be, unlike Pedro, I found it to be kind of like, not on rails, but very linear in the progression. Like, you got to go through this, and we're going to do that, and you're going to do that. Jump around, climb some shit, play tag with a couple of rock golems. I got bored fighting rock golems. Um, you do need to seek out a couple Speaking of squares of <laughs> to, like, unlock gates, and that's part of the mechanic. Okay, you like go hunt for stuff. I got it. Uh, the skill tree, it's there. There's even a trader to... You know, sell your wares to to get more coin. I don't know, whatever they call it in this game. Then I spent five minutes stuck in tutorial hell because it's like, hey, it's a meditation thing. Okay, meditate. Wait, this this is tutorial. Like halfway into the first, like thirty minutes into it, I'm like, why are you giving me a tutorial now? What's up? More importantly, I didn't realize it was a tutorial. And to get out of the tutorial that you can go into from the game, you just sit down and you meditate. You got to go back to the title screen to exit out of that. Interesting. Uh, you can find the original portal and just fuck up. <laughs> There's also an exit meditation mode on the escape menu that just takes you back to the game. That, that like I said, you just can't exit out of the tutorial. You got to go back, hit escape, then you got to go to ah, the, the, Yeah, This is if you're still in the tutorial. That's version. a bit roundabout, man. Um, You know what? After that, I dicked around a bit more. Nothing really inspired me to continue. I, I wasn't like violently against this game or anything. It didn't do anything particularly wrong. But I'm going to say, you know, if you like three platforming and collect thons, maybe worth picking up like a buck or two. It was on super sale this week. So I'm like, hey, let's try it out. Nothing to lose. For me, uh, the story didn't grab me or what the attempted story. And it seems like it's got a lot of bullshit to go play with. But 
back to just being a little too linear for my taste. And that Linux version out of the box has, you know, three coming up on four year old unfixed bug with the screen resolution that that's kind of game breaking for a lot of people, especially if you have a smaller UHD monitor, because you'd be playing in a very tiny 1080p window in one corner of it, or you're going to be using Proton. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's not completely broken. Proton to the rescue for Linux game preservation in its own weird, unintended way. But yeah, I'll give it to yeah like ben was saying if you don't want a proton you either got to change your like default resolution in like x or wayland or play it in a a window i opted for the window option because i wanted to test performance under linux so yeah um at uhd it can hold about 30 at uhd with the 5700 xt on fedora 33 um it can do that on the 1080 ti only choppier uh but knocking it down to 1080p uh definitely makes it a lot more playable um yeah the the controls are standard WASD. I kept getting E and F mis- mixed up pretty frequently because like I'm playing enough games where like their functions are swapped that I keep accidentally teleporting myself. That got a little annoying fast, but that one's on me. That's not on the game. Uh, the game is actually definitely pretty pretty. I or definitely pretty. I wish I could experience it at UHD, uh, but no, the Unreal Engine cannot do that under Linux. The voice acting, it's okay. Mid-tier internet recruits do their jobs well enough. I'll talk about the story or lack thereof a little bit later. Because this this one's kind of tricky. I'm not generally a fan of first-person platformers, but this one's actually pretty decent. It's very forgiving when it comes to the platforming itself, which can deal with a lot of the imprecise jumps. And I'm pretty sure your your dude has, like, a variable height along with the stretchy arms and stretchy legs because like sometimes like i was not this tall when i started this jump something something's happening the game is doing some stuff behind the scenes to make it so that i don't have to be pixel precise although sometimes you do got to be pretty precise about it um and i mean like and i mean like shit we're here for we're not here for simulation we're here for verisimilitude the essence of reality not reality itself um and yeah uh the big thing here that uh, really struck me is unlike something like Superliminal, another like first person exploration puzzle game, this one lets you kind of go everywhere. Yes, it's very linear if you go from goal to goal to goal to goal. But if you just kind of like dick around and explore, you can find other worlds. You can uh, if you really want to like progress to that talent tree, there's ample opportunity to just grind star pieces or whatever. Um, you have like so it's they're like these bismuth cubes that whisper at you like the fucking eye of Sauron. Um, <laughs> but and you can upgrade your ability to hear the whispers and they they sound real creepy, but they're really the whispering is just to let you know, hey, there's one of these collectibles here and you need certain numbers of them to open doors and progress. And if you're pretty good at it, you can get access to a lot of stuff in the game. Um, the big thing, like Pedro is fighting an enemy here, and I really, really question the presence of enemies because there's not really combat. You basically just circle strafe them until you have the opportunity to pull their magical crystals out. And that's not challenging. That's not engaging. It doesn't really add anything. I'd have preferred if they just like omitted it entirely and just focus on like puzzle, puzzling and exploration and whatnot. Cause it really, it really feels like the fighting is super tacked on. Um, I mean, uh, and I, <sighs> It's because it's not it's not a game about dealing with enemies. Uh, it has a story. Supposedly, it gives me something of a bit of a mist vibe, but like it's not very well done. There's they do the mystery box thing, except they don't really provide any sort of tantalizing bait. There's just, oh, I'm a crazy old man. Let me tell you some weird sentence fragments and maybe you can piece it together. There's, there's no there's no real hook. Um, Yeah, so like. The, the the only real thing encouraging you to go forward in the game is the power up tree and you know try upgrading your stuff and finding more ways to traverse the game because it's certainly not the story. Um, I'm gonna give it two chairs M- mainly because it doesn't have cloud save. Fuck you guys, turn it on. This should be <laughs> this should be a default thing. I played through like maybe an hour and change of it on AMD and I had to speed run back to where I was originally on my Nvidia box because you can't take a box in Steam. You Fuck you, you. you the perpetual optimist like i as soon as i realized that this thing couldn't full screen and, and that bug hasn't been fixed in three years i didn't have any hope for the cloud save i mean it's it's a, it's a tick box on steam you'd think that that's less effort than clicking exp- i will but agree with you I, I definitely got the um 
like mist vibe ish. I, I see exactly where you're coming from. I'm like, yeah, I can kind of feel that. I'm like a 3D version that wasn't made in hypercode. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> De- definitely giving me like, oh, it's weird past future. Or, yeah, there's yeah. a bunch of creepy old men. Something's going on. There's there's a mystery. Get it? Ha ha ha. Yeah, yeah. And, and some of the technology is still there, but most of it is just broken. Yeah, <laughs> something's going on. And like the fighting, it's just dodge, dodge, dodge. Yoink! All right, we're done. Yeah, it's, it's like why? Why are you wasting my time dancing it's, around? It's going. so pointless. It adds nothing. It artificially extends the runtime. Mm. It's yeah. there. I mean, if you need something to just like go fuck around with, I mean, like I said, I'm not violently against the game in any way, shape, form, or fashion. I mean, it's something to do. I mean, it's oh yeah, pretty if, easy. And if and if you really like parkour games or you're just looking for a game to like low stress kill some time in, this is this is a good option because yeah. like and for well, the next forty something hours, it's two pounds or three dollars on uh, on Steam. Huh? Yeah, there, there there are worse things to spend your money on on Steam. Definitely, this yeah. one won't give you an <laughs> orgasm though. That's for sure. All right, coming up next, we got so much hate mail, you guys. We're gonna extend the runtime of this podcast even more with emails. I I say this every week, but chances are we did say something this week that probably ticked you off in nope. just the right way. Uh-uh. <laughs> Just enough that you feel like Hugs leaving an angry YouTube everyone, comment. Pedro. I want a hug. Ew. Give me a hug. <laughs> I mean, I'm not opposed to that, but uh, you're kind of all the way across the world, so there's that. You can uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no, that hug will have to wait. Uh, yeah, if you would like to send hugs our way or let us know exactly just how we done fucked up this evening, you can do so very easily. You go to LewisGameCast.com, you hit the contact button. There's some um, caveats to read at the top of the page. If you're a game developer and you'd like it to play your game, please, please, oh, <laughs> God, please. <laughs> good, 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 good job. Okay, no, that, 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 very good, <laughs> very good. <laughs> Ah, I just had to look at the return you, video. You, okay, you you gotta you gotta watch the uncut version of this, man. Otherwise, right. this will not make any sense. No, not not a bit, <laughs> not a lick. But yes, that is the form that you need to fill out. Just make sure um, LGC Weekly is the show that you're sending your hate mail to. Otherwise, Jordan may misinterpret it as some relationship advice. Hmm. I'll give you a <laughs> danger advice. All right. Coming up first, man, this is from Wolf Blue writing in and dropping this. It's like, hey, I switched to Linux. Really need a capture card to be able to stream Smash Ultimate to Twitch, as everyone does, as well as other console games. I love it. He's talking about the um, Intensity Pro 4K, the Black Magic hardware. Love that it has composite and component, yeah, for your retro games. And, you know, you got that little breakout cable and it can do. 4K for the new PS5 and Xbox. It can, but it can only do it at 30. Uh, wonder if I get one recorder stream. Is this, is the other HDMI, which has got two HDMI ports on the back of the Intensity Pro 4K, an output, or does it just have two inputs? Well, also, yes. <laughs> one's an input, do, one's an Carl output, do both. but it doesn't do pass through. Ah. Um, yes. <laughs> so if you get an Intensity Pro 4K from Blackmagic, do keep in mind uh, UHD 3840 by 2160 is only available at 30. You have to buy a quad if you want um, UHD at 60, like the one I have. Just don't make, don't plug it into your thread or because it's not going to work right. Um, <laughs> hold no, on, you, hold on. You, mm, I'm gonna, what is it output? What does what, what, what is, what is it actually output? Totally get into that. Okay. <laughs> so we use it. I'm using it right now. Uh, through my DSLR is taking the input. The output is your return video. Because OBS has a thing, if you go to your tools and it says deck link output, you go click so it can just send every scene that you want. Also, if you wanted to use it for like uh, color keying, green screen, stuff like that, subtitles, all the fun stuff that you can do with the deck link output. But yeah, that's what you use it for. Typically, what you'd use um, an Intensity Pro 4K for would be like in DaVinci if you needed color accurate 10 bit like monitoring. You know, you weren't trying to, hey, NVIDIA, can you do something? NVIDIA's like, did you give me enough money? No, <laughs> no, I can. So you could use this as an output monitor. You can't use it as a regular monitor, but you get the idea. So yeah, 
Uh, I do know a lot of uh, USB 3 capture cards and stuff like that. They have HDMI pass through. Ta da! And uh, this one does. Yeah, no. No, that, that hey. this one does have HDMI uh, pass through, and there there is effectively no latency if you're just doing the pass through. Uh, but yeah, 4K, it 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 the encoder is really good at 1080p 60. Mm -hmm. 4K 30, it leaves a little bit to be desired. Yeah, even if it is Type C, <laughs> it, it, it's US, it's Type C whole, but it's USB three. Yeah, USB 3.1 Type-C. Okay. So, uh, we need to talk about Pedro and his ISP's is favorite <laughs> yeah, I, girlfriend. You want to take I, this I, one? I was, I, I was thinking about this because Pedro also butchers the English language, so if we combine them, will it oh, sort of loop no, back? No, no. Will we get an don't integer overflow? My man, there's craziness. No. Okay, let's divide by zero. Um, Hello, dear comrade Pedro Bliad. Uh, your comrade in hiding from capitalis uh, capitalismic porkies would like to warn you that your pie hole is, be is being owned. Your hole, unless using non-standard port for name domain, translate yes please, is being communized by your internet internet network of provider of services. If you try to resolve some capitalist sites with DN sex, uh, you will see that someone has stolen public key. Question mark. Why do you need uh, when all public has it? This is stupid. Anyway, you okay. check those sites. What do you do? Okay, you you clearly yeah, you're the one of us who read that. Um, yeah, my, my soul <laughs> yeah. has left my body at the moment. Uh, Basically, he, uh, this is uh, Dimco, and uh, Dimco has been one of the people who actively contributes a lot of uh, the hate mail. Dimco, uh, straight out of Ireland. <laughs> Communist Ireland. Communist yes. Ireland, yeah. Communist Ireland, yeah. Well, I knew the uh, hate mail was somewhere because I, I was going through the logs. I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is. All right. <laughs> but yeah, it is about the pie hole. And I mentioned that I have uh, the pie hole set on my uh, on my NAS. And yeah, the first thing you do the moment you're trying to set up any kind of like home network services that are available that you could just install is you change the default ports for everything that yeah that's just basic security nowadays uh so yeah i changed the uh default uh the hcp and dns uh ports and i changed the default port for the uh, pie hole web interface thingy that they have and yeah it it it, it does work <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 more, I'm more concerned that you're changing the ports of DHCP because that tells me that you have to go reconfigure clients to do that as well, which kind of defeats the purpose of DHCP in my opinion. But you know, you do you, girlfriend. Can, can we just set a proxy <laughs> server like Sox Five or some shit? Right yeah, now, you, it's uh, you can set up it's Squid if you the want the phone yeah. <laughs> and this box that are using the DHCP server. Once I trust it, then I'll change the uh, the router to um, full on modem mode, and everything will be because I don't trust see, it yet. See, the right thing to do is you install WireGuard, <laughs> you click that button on your Microtik, and you're done. Yeah, the, that, challenge, challenge mode, tick. setting up a Microtik router, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to just leave that part out, though. <laughs> LGC cares. <laughs> Once you get to that point. Uh, yeah, import the right certificates. Uh, last but not least. Yeah, this Demento, is from, uh, one of our patrons, yeah. Yeah, they, they got a question. I got another genuine question. Oh, what do you guys these counterfeit questions, uh, damn it. Oh, no, no, no. We, we, we got to burn it and like <laughs> We did get this from AliExpress, <laughs> boo. I mean, you can send us some hate mail via AliExpress, I think. Maybe? <laughs> that will take about three weeks to get here. <laughs> I mean, what? whatever. People aren't expecting for timely responses, otherwise they'd be asking us questions on Discord, right? I got another genuine question for you. What do you guys do for a living? You don't have to answer on the air if you don't feel like it. I'm just curious. Thing. Good night, everyone. No. Um. <laughs> Good night, children. <laughs> Cue the music. Uh, it. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm a dev. DevOps. I'm a DevOps. So I, I IT I'm, support I, here. I'm, I'm, I'm IT for programmers. <laughs> That's my job. That's pretty much it. I do contract work, and uh, I get to talk into a tin can. I also yeah. do it here too, but I just do that for the funsies. 
Indeed. Yeah, no, the IT support for the NHS. Mm. So, <laughs> no. so, so, so there you go. Very, I wish very we had dull. something fun. Yeah, I was about to say, it's kind of like, yeah, that's what I expected. I was like, he's, yeah. he's, he's a sysadmin. He's a sysadmin. He's a sysadmin. International Shark Rodeo Champion. No, unfortunately not. Um, <laughs> womp womp. And, uh, yeah. That's the Once upon a time, I was king of America. Billions of Once. years ago. All right, beautiful people. Um, thanks for showing up. We got to bounce out of here, but we're gonna roll your face all over our credits. It's gonna be hot. Let's cue the music. You can always find us around eight thirty Eastern Standard Moon Time. If you're a patron, if you're making this shit possible, show up an hour early. Uh, we got a pre pre super season. We call it the Creeps Show. We invite you to participate, and there's even a video version of that live for executive producers but if you want to get a hold of me um hmm, i don't know interpretive dance works i'm susceptible to that but i'm on the twitters since uh that's the thing just at Vinstone on the twitters do that or just at vin on our mastodon which is mass.lunningseamcast.com I'm Jordan Swung. I am the rightful king of America. You don't have to vote for me because I was appointed by God. You can listen to my de decrees at The Burning Fool or streamed live at twitch.tv slash burning fool. Such a downfall. I would much rather uh, listen to his decrees, but I am Pedro Mateos. You can find me at unaccounted for on Twitter, butchering the English language in ways that Jordan Swung could never imagine. I, I can't. I really can't. <laughs> Show us. <laughs> Seeing is yes, believing, is. Pedro. Seeing is believing with your ears. Uh, rewind the stream about ten minutes. <laughs> I can't. Oh, oh yeah, man. IRL. Never mind. No. <laughs> oh man, we got to thank all the people who are giving us money week after week to do this. It's <laughs> insane. We got to thank Haplo, Justin, Mike J, Angel M, Bob Ramp, Scott, Michaud, and Mr. Fox Dog out there in the top of cast. Mac G. G. Our little Nikki fans, Dark Wing, MT, and our sea monsters, Jack Ba, Dementor, Renault LePage, Ryder X Machina, Paul, and Verita Nuda. Plenty of death notes starting out with Nova K. We got Nick. We got Kim, Smashly G, Chris, Steve, and Joe, along with the Captain Romeo, Zero. System T, Leonardo C, and of course, a Smashly a G. A tsunami <laughs> of orgasmic <laughs> chairlings. Seriously, so thank you. All of you. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> Es but especially, <laughs> especially now, like times are tough. You don't yeah. have you have your choice of entertainment dollar. We really appreciate that you spend it on us. Yeah, that that uh, that's insane. Thank you. <laughs> we got a plug PowerShell on Linux library.tv slash at Nixon's Pyramid. Whatever the fuck that is, I don't think it's a real page anymore, but it's there nonetheless. I looked it up. I got page not found. Oh no. Sue me. <laughs> It's gone. <laughs> I got curious. I'm like, I haven't actually gone to that link. What's that? What's it about? PowerShell on Linux is obvious, but I don't know what the fucking Nixon's pyramid is. Dynafire, beautiful people. We'll see you next week. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> Five dudes.